So today's question is why does food taste so bad when you're ill? Hello and welcome to Med with Fam. My name is Dr. Samira and I'm so happy to see you here. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I like to simplify medical concepts and make sure it's simple enough for everyone to understand. And whatever I say is backed by scientific research. If you like that kind of content and you'd like to see it more often, then do hit the subscribe button. I also have a newsletter that I release once a week. So if you'd like my articles to come straight to your inbox, then the link is in the description below. Do sign up. All right, let's get straight to it. Why does food taste so bad or bland when you're ill? The answer is pretty simple, and to understand that, you need to know a simple medical fact. Did you know that taste and smell are actually linked? In order to truly sense taste, you need to both taste the item from your tongue and smell it. The sensation from our nose or our olfactory cells goes to our brain, and the sensation from our tongue goes to a similar location in our brain and the signals are mixed together to process the sense of taste. Now when you're sick or ill or when you have something like a cold, what is the most common thing that happens? Our nose gets blocked, right? You can barely smell anything. And if to sense taste, you need both smell and the sensation from your tongue and smell has gone, then you can imagine what happens, right? The food doesn't taste as tasty because you've lost almost 50% of what the sensation of taste really is. Now, what about conditions in which you don't have a cold and your nose isn't blocked and you can smell just all right? In those conditions as well, you might have experienced that food just doesn't taste the same. Well, the answer is pretty similar. Now, even though you can't see it, but the lining of your nose, your throat, is often inflamed when you have an infection in and around this area. So let's say you have a sore throat, really hurts, difficult to breathe, difficult to swallow. In that case, food does not taste the same. That's because the lining of our throat is linked to the lining of our nose. And if the lining gets inflamed, the cells don't work properly. If they don't, you do lack a little bit of taste. Is this the same as anosmia? Do you remember that one prominent symptom that was present during COVID-19? That a lot of people lacked the sense of smell to the extent that when someone said, hold on, I can't smell anymore, everyone thought that this person probably had COVID. Now, anosmia is a medical term for anything and everything under the sun that leads to a difficulty or a lack of smelling. So something like a common cold or even something as severe as a brain damage can both cause anosmia. So the important thing to remember here is that the anosmia that was associated with COVID-19 was a highly prominent symptom. So it was something that was so common amongst COVID-19 patients that when someone had it, we would immediately consider COVID-19. Whereas when someone with a common cold has anosmia or difficulty smelling, it's barely noticeable. In fact, you wouldn't say, if you had a cold, you wouldn't say, I can't smell anymore. You just say my nose is blocked and therefore I cannot smell. So the symptom prominence isn't that much in a common cold as much as anosmia was during COVID-19. So now we've spoken about a difficulty in tasting good food when you have a common cold, when you have a sore throat, but what about ear infections? Do you think you can lose the taste of good food if you have an ear infection? Now it is possible and here's why. Our face has something called the facial nerve. The facial nerve is one of the most interesting nerves. It's linked to a lot of medical conditions. It starts in our brain and makes its way to our face where it spreads into five branches. Now before that, it gives off branches in its pathway, sort of like a big river would give off streams. One of the branches is present in our ear. So when you get an ear infection and the ear swells up, it can compress the facial nerve and you can have different manifestations of that. You can have a difficulty in moving muscles of your face, but you can also lose a certain sense of taste because the facial nerve does supply taste sensation to our tongue. So we've looked at the different reasons why you can't taste your food when you're sick. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and I'd love to see your comments in the comment box below. If there's anything you would like explained, do leave that below or you can just email me on hello at medwithsam.com. Don't forget that there is a subscribe link in the description box below to my newsletter. So if you'd like the similar content, but if you'd like it in a readable format in your inbox, then don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.